CDAC, that is the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, has floated, uh, you know, several vacancies for engineers. And uh, let's talk about those vacancies. I'll give you some insights about this. So this update was actually on the website on 30th of September. So honestly, uh, I've been late in updating you this, but uh, it's still going to be live till 20th of October. So I thought, you know, even if some of the engineers, some of the students get benefited out of this, Okay, me making this video will be, uh, you know, the purpose will be solved. So guys, look into this. The major vacancies that is in your benefit right now is 150 posts coming up across multiple cities of the India. And that is for the project engineer or the field application engineer. Let me open this and let's go to the details of this particular vacancies. Okay, the project engineer or the field application engineer, total number of posts 150 in different locations. Actually, at the end, they mention anywhere in India. Okay, age limit is also... Uh, not going to be a big concern for many students because it is up to the 35 educational qualification that they have mentioned be btech or equivalent degree with 60 percent okay very basic minimum criteria that they have okay the post graduation in science and computer application i mean the mc and all will also be eligible mc mc uh, msc and all okay me m tech or equivalent to masters in engineering masters in technology or even phd Okay, in the relevant disciplines. Okay, the educational, uh, the experience requires after the post qualification job is zero to four years. That means even fresher can apply. Okay, so zero to four years of bracket. And this is the skill set. The candidate should present should possess the relevant skill set in any of the following domain area. So computer science, engineering, IT, computer technology, so many of them with computer science. Then you have, uh, you know, ML and artificial intelligence, quantum technologies. Then there are some with statistics and mathematics, data science, electronics, instrumentation, electrical, industrial electronics, PCP design. Okay, then you have geophysics, cloud computing. So several, several, several skill sets are given. Okay, you can look, look into that. Okay, uh, here we have microelectronics, signal processing, VLSA. These are all mtech branches okay so all btech and mtech branches like they have mentioned here okay uh okay then you have environment also project management uh, full stack developers several uh are mentioned that you can go through this i'll share you this link in the telegram also okay you can go through all of this okay even mechanical mechatronics is mentioned but most of them are related with the computer science electrical and electronics background okay now now, what will be the job profile? This is very important before applying to this particular job because there is not going, this is not on the basis of gate score and there is no separate examination mentioned also. Okay, the selection procedure actually is not clear cut mentioned. That's misguiding and that's confusing students. Okay, but as far as the inputs that I have collected and as per the previous uh, information about the CDAC, what I can say is it's like 150 posts you have to apply. Okay, and based on your resume, they are going to call up for the interview. Definitely interview will be there, but the shortlisting is based on the profile filing and um, based on the resume okay so uh, you know while applying for this it's very necessary for you to look into the job profile what they are looking for okay so whether uh, you know you have experience in this work or whether your btech or mtech project was in this domain so you definitely get an edge there accordingly you can apply that's that can be a point to decide whether yes or no for this particular profile okay so project engineer what is the job profile and for the field application engineer what is the profile you can have a deep uh, analysis of this you can go through this later on Okay, multiple uh, skill sets mentioned. Now, CTC is not that great, but it's good to go provided, you know, many students are just not, not aware and then they sit uh, simply not doing anything. At least, you know, you have a better opportunity here. So, always don't look worry into the CTC. Of course, it's not as comparable as to regular PSUs. Okay, it's around 4.4 lakh to 7.11. So, why there is the variation? Okay, the variation is with higher experience within the given bracket will be offered higher salary. Okay, so more experience, more salary, but the minimum that they are offering is 4.4 like LPA. Okay, so good to start off with your career, I believe. Okay, so uh, that's what is a small update. I thought of updating you. I'll share you this link. Go through the job profiles carefully and then take a decision. The date is still there, 20th of October. You can apply. So there are around uh, still a week, more than a week time left. Think about it. Okay, if you were not aware, this is what is the update I have given. Okay, th thank you. Stay safe and take care of yourself.